Hey everyone, Paul Fontaine from Keller Williams in St. Pete, Florida. Wanted to give you the latest May update 2023 of what is going on. I uh, want to look at these stats right from our multiple listing service. On the left hand side is the market stats for our area here. And so active listings 36,078. That is up 37% from last May of 2022. So if you're a buyer, there's 37% more listings for sale for you to choose from. So good news for you. New listings um, are down 20% from, from last year. There were 24,000 new listings, uh, but now only 19,000. So people are not putting their houses on the market as much as they were last year. Pending sales are down 8% versus last year. Listings sold down 8% also, so pretty consistent. On the bottom there is ADOM, average days on the market. So that's how long it takes to sell an average listing in our area. So it's up 214%, so that's quite a bit. So last year, May 22, it took 14 days to sell a property in our area. And now as of May, 2023, it takes 44 days. So we're on a month and a half, still, still pretty fast. You know, on average, usually historically over the past 10 to 20 years, it's you know around 45 to 60 days. So it's increased from last year, but still uh, sells pretty quickly. Total sales volume is down 7% at 8.1 billion versus 8.7, which makes sense since the sales are down. And then average sales price is up just a little bit, 2%. So last year, the average sales price was 453,000 and now it's 461,000. So even though sales have been decreasing, uh, homes have still been uh, appreciating. And so it's 2% year over year in May. And then lastly is months of inventory. It's just a way for you know, real estate agents to track how much we have uh, on the market for sale. And it's two months of inventory, which again is pretty, pretty low. Last year, it was only one month of inventory. So pretty much what that means is if nothing else went on the market for sale as of you know today, it would take us two months in order to sell out of all of the inventory. Typically a balanced market, which is uh, in between a seller's market and a buyer's market is around five or six months of inventory. So still officially in a seller's market since it's only two months worth of, of inventory. So that's a quick snapshot. Again, it's, it's always a good time to buy interest rates are around six and a half percent right now uh, but just know that interest rates can also go up so locking in 6.5 is actually a thing and also if they do go down you can get a lower interest rate but you know what might happen if the interest rates go down that's when buyers will jump back in the market and and pump up the prices and then you're paying a lot more for the for the property so keep that in mind also there's pros and cons of of everything but as always, if you find a, a good property that's priced right and shows well, it's a good time to buy and I'm happy to help you. So if you need any assistance, as always, remember to call Paul. Have a great day. Bye-bye.